Hello, welcome back. So in today's video, we're going to go over sales for the last seven days. We're actually going to just pick up where I left off in the last video. Plus at the end, I'm going to show you some cool items we sourced over the weekend. Um, but first I'm going to be pretty blunt and honest. I did not want to do this video today. I am a perimenopausal woman with raging PMS. No one wants to be around me. Just left. He went to the pins. Brooklyn's at school. I don't even want to be around me, but I don't really have the choice. So here we are. I'm just going to try to make the best of it. I'm going to get this video out. And if uh, you feel my pain, leave me some positive comments below. And my audience, I think, is 96% women. So I feel like most of you will feel my pain in some aspect or another. All right. Let's jump on over into the sales. I think this is from. April 10th through whatever yesterday was, the 16th. Yeah, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th. Yeah, that's seven days. All right, here's the sales. All right, our first item on eBay are these Clark's strappy sandals. We bought these at the bins for $1.37, and they sold out an offer for $25. This is another tool item when Justin cleaned out a couple months ago. He actually listed all these tools over two months ago, and since I relist all my items, I end them, then hit sell similar every two months. This one came back up for relisting, and it sold very quickly quickly it did sell on a much lower offer of $17 but we had nothing into it all right these vintage 90s the brand was breakdown shorts they actually were flawed they had a stain on the back and the buttonhole was like kind of fraying and overstretched out but these are a bolo because you know they're 90s y2k ish looking shorts it's funny I listed them for $29.99 and I got two guys that just kept sending me lowball offers of like 10 to $15 repeatedly. And then eventually someone bought them for the full price of $29.99. We paid $1.67 at the bins. Ab Rocket replacement pieces. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that we love to find these. Justin came home from the bins one day with three different sets of them. This is the last set to sell. Um, they went for $21.99 and we paid $1.05 for weight by weight at the bins. Justin scored this coach bag at an estate sale that was now free. They had the sale for two days and everything was kind of overpriced. Ended up barely selling anything. So on a Monday, they put up a notice that everything was for free. So he grabbed this purse. It sold for a full price of $24.99 and obviously we had nothing into it. All right, these Alfred Dunner dress pants I got on 99 cent day. They sold for an offer of $13.75. Then we have this vintage cookbook lot. This is more um, stuff my neighbor is cleaning out her mom's estate and she's just been giving me things that they were just going to donate anyway. Um, they sold for $15.99 and obviously we got them for free. Um, these Spiri, um, top slider, they were like slip on deck shoes. We got them on 99 cent day. I put a bunch of shoes on clearance because we were just overrun with shoes. So you'll probably see a, a more than usual amount of shoes being sold over these next few days. So someone sent me an offer of 1199 cause apparently them being on sale for 30% off wasn't enough for them. And we ended up, you know, agreeing on it since I only paid 99 cents. Another pair of shoes, these Doc Martens, um, they were women's ankle work boots. They sold for $40 and we got them to the bin, so we paid $3.82. And then, as I said, another pair of shoes, these Helly Hansen. This was the first time ever picking up this brand. We got it at the bins for $2.67 and they sold for $25.19. We're still making the, our way through the Masibo duty pieces. So this was another um, new with tags piece that I got on 99 cent day. It sold on an offer for $30. This large, it was probably about like 14 inches tall at least. And that was not counting the stand. 
vase we grabbed at the bins. They only charged us 63 cents since most of it was ceramic. Um, it sold for full price minus the 5% discount. So like 60, probably like, yeah, I know math's not my strong suit. We'll say like $65 in, you know, from 63 cents. So that was a pretty good flip. Um, another Chico's dress, I sold the green one in the previous video. I do want to update. I had two people comment under my last video that they both got Vero's for using Chico's stock photos. I do it all the time and I've never gotten one. I don't know how I've gotten so lucky, so I will definitely try not to do it in the future, though I feel like a dress like this probably if, yeah, I mean, like, look at my picture. Like, it's hard to do it justice. Like, the stock photo does it so much better. So, I might risk it at times, but I'm putting it out there so you all know that they do occasionally give out Vero's for Chico's. So, don't do as I do. Do as I say. Don't use their stock photos, apparently. This Torrid, it was just, like, a really thin, um, like, oh, it kind of had, like, a leopard print in the background tank top. Um, I got it on 99 cent day. It was a size zero, which is only a large and torrid. I really tend not to pick those up anymore. This was an older item. Someone sent me a $10 offer and I gladly accepted to move it along. This Tahari shirt was grabbed on 99 cent day. Um, it was in my 25% off sale and then someone sent me a $10 offer. And last weekend, eBay was so slow. You'll see in a minute, Poshmark was on fire. But eBay was really slow. So when someone sent me a $10 offer, I accepted it, hoping that maybe that would start getting things moving in my store. Uh, it only did it somewhat, but not the greatest sale, but still made a profit. Um, let's see. These Chico's Palazzo pants um, were picked up at the bins for $1.41. They sold on offer at, for $18.99. Um, this flax linen um, button front shirt I grabbed at the bins. We only paid 65 cents by weight and it sold for $25. This Disney uh, Nightmare Before Christmas hat Justin grabbed at the bins. So he only paid 32 cents, sold on an offer for $17.59. This bat. I think this is the Batmobile. Yes, the Bat plane already sold. They put both pictures in the front of the box, but you have to look and see which one's checked off. And I actually had both models, but um, this was the actual Batmobile kit. I do believe this sold internationally. Um, it went for an offer. Oh no, it didn't. It sold for full price of $69.99. I bought this in a huge lot of items and I have been in the profit for close to, I've, I think I've had this for almost a year. So I've been in a profit from like the second week of buying all those items. So um, that was a great sale. Glad to get it out of my inventory. And then, oh, how'd I get on that picture? This JM collection um, dr uh, not dress shirt was new with tags and a plus size. Got it on 99 cent day, sold for $19. So these women within jeans, they were um, a plus size and they were tall. So I grabbed them on 99 cent day. Someone sent me an offer of $16.99 and I gladly accepted. Converse black high tops, guys. You know I say it over and over again. These are the only Converse that we regularly buy because they always sell so quickly. Sure enough, $38.99 is what I listed them for. They sold for full price very quickly. We paid $3.35 at the bins because they're so heavy, which is why we don't buy a lot of Converse at the bins because they end up just costing so much. We have figured out that black high top is the key and that's pretty much just what we buy. Um, these American Eagle jeans, I don't normally pick up American Eagle, but these were a certain style where they had like a wider leg on them. So I decided to give them a shot. Um, they sold for $19.99 and we paid $1.99 at the bins. This Chico's blouse, I've talked about this in the last couple videos. This style, like basic three quarter sleeve, they're no wrinkled blouse or just kind of like a wardrobe staple, it seems, for a lot of women. I pick them up at the bins and a lot of times on 99 cent day. So this was a 99 cent day pickup sold with a 10% offer, I do believe. So it was $22.49. 
Um, I grabbed these um, capri pants. They're riveted by Lee. I only got them because they were new with tags and a 16W. Um, they were a 99 cent day grab and they sold on offer for $15.99. I grabbed the super cute J. Crew like lemon printed, it's just so summery dress. I didn't like that it was only a size six, but I was like, I'll give it a try. I ended up selling for $17. And I don't know if I said this already, but we got it on 99 cent day. Um, this Talbots shirt, I showed this two videos ago in a haul. It's not a style of Talbots I would normally pick up because it was just a very basic shirt, but it was new with tags. So ended up selling for $21 and we paid 83 cents for it. These native shoes, um, were purchased at the bins for $1.27 and they ended up selling for $24.99. This Calvin Klein dress, I bought this ages ago. I even tried it on in a video. I was going to keep it for myself, but then I just decided to get rid of it. So um, I had paid $1.98 for it and it sold for $29.99. And then the Freebirds boots sold. I showed these Freebirds two videos ago. Um, we found them at the bins. We paid $4.44 by weight and someone bought it for $89.99. This Alexander Julian shirt was a new brand to me. I only grabbed it for two reasons. One, because it was an XLT and when items are tall in men's bigger sizes, they seem to do well. And it was new with tags. We found it on 99 cent day, sold on an offer for $15.79. This Talbot's, um, it was like a smocked, like lightweight cotton shirt in a plus size, which is why I picked it up. I got it on 99 cent day. When I got home, I realized it had a very small, you can see me showing it in the picture there. I mean, minuscule spot on the sleeve, kind of almost like in the crease, but still I disclose everything. Because of that, I listed it low. Someone sent me a $10 offer and I was like, sure. And even though it was a flawed item, we still made a $7.30 profit and it sold super fast because I priced it accordingly. All right, this Stow & Company um, like embellished shirt was in my 25% off sale. Ended up selling for $11.50, and it was also purchased on 99 cent day. This Chico's, it was a very bright, like, or true metallic, I guess I would say, silver um, shirt. It was picked up at the bin, so we only paid 50 cents for it since it was so lightweight. It sold for $16.99. We made a $12.48 profit. These Lane Bryant jeans were also picked up on 99 cent day. We've had them for a while, so when someone sent me a $12 offer, I accepted. This Ann Taylor Loft jacket, you might, I might have shown in a previous sold video because it's sold and it's sold for pretty, I think cheaper than this if I'm remembering correctly, but I could be wrong. Um, it was picked up on 99 cent day. They purchased it and said it was too small for them. They returned it at their expense. So I didn't lose any money on it. And then I relisted it and immediately sold again for $19.99. Um, People always, you know, talk about returns and how they don't offer returns. I highly recommend offering returns, but the buyer pays for shipping. So they have to pay for the label to ship it back to you, and you do not have to refund them the initial shipping cost either. So they pay the to and from shipping. You get all of your money and all of your fees back, but people are way more likely to purchase from you when they know they can return an item. So just a suggestion. All right, now we have a Lane Bryant. This is their Livy Active brand. This is an old item. It was in my 25% off sale. Someone sent me a $12 offer. I jumped on it because we only paid 99 cents. This J. Jill um, cute like summer sleeveless shirt was grabbed at the bins. We only paid 48 cents for it. Sold for $16.19. Um, this Tommy Hilfiger trench coat, another item that we've had for a long time, was in my 25% off sale. Someone sent me a $12 offer and I was like, whatever, I just want it gone. Um, so I accepted. And then we have this Peg Pergo ride on track set. So Justin bought a huge box of all these. These are like the big tracks for the ride on trains. Um, 
my parents had one for Brooklyn when she was little. So he got a huge set of the bins and they let him have it all for $6.99. So I sold the set that made a huge oval at around Christmas time for $79.99. And these were just like the odds and ends pieces that have been sitting in my death pile forever. Finally got them listed and they sold for $39.99. I grabbed this simple, like basic torrid um, tank top at the bins. I only paid 52 cents. Um, shortly after I listed it, someone sent me a $12 offer. And since sales have been so slow, I accepted. Um, this cute Disney Park shirt, I grabbed it only because it was new with tags on 99 cent day, but it was an extra small. Um, there was others listed and they were all listed for super cheap so i um put it for 18.99 but when someone sent me a 13 dollars offer i was like i'm just taking it so i don't get stuck with this item for a long time this eileen fisher shirt justin grabbed on a quick stop and trip to the bins um it i have a couple other eileen fishers i've i got three all on the same day and they were all 100 percent organic cotton well this one's organic cotton but it also has um I can't remember if it's a nylon spandex, something in it that gives it a stretch. And apparently that makes it way more valuable than just the organic cotton ones because the price list price on these were so much higher. So yeah, it ended up selling for $28. We paid 84 cents for it. Um, this Catherine's, it was just like a roll tab sleeve, um, basic, um, like thin blouse, it sold, oh, it was also a 2X Petite. I got it for 72 cents at the bin, sold for $16. Um, this Lane Bryant, I bought this coat um, on 99 cent day. It was kind of like a mix between like a coat, a blazer, a cardigan. I don't know what it was. Its price was $109.95 originally, but I've had it forever. It was in the 99 cent sale. Um, someone sent me a $15 offer and I couldn't say yes fast enough. To get it out of my inventory. This express dress I grabbed at the bins because it was new with tags. We've also had this forever. It was in the 25% off sale, probably because it was listed not in the correct season, but still it sold for $21.03. Allbirds. You'll hear other resellers talk about it. They have fallen off so much, and this is no exception. We got them at the bins for $1.69, and they only sold for $17.63, and that's after having them for a long time. These uh, women's Croft and Borrow shorts, this was bought in the $5 bag. Um, we showed it a couple of videos ago where we filled a huge bag I think we got 21 or 24 pieces, all for $5. This was in that bag, sold for $18.99. And this Bob Mackie, um, it was a silk blouse and it was a plus size. I love Bob Mackie on larger size items. Um, someone sent me an offer of $18.99 and we paid only 69 cents for it at the bins. All right, Poshmark was on fire, especially over the weekend. It was the highest number of items and probably even profits that I have ever sold in one weekend on Poshmark. So here we go. This first item was this J. Jill um, linen cotton blend like white shirt. We got it at the bins for only 79 cents, sold for $20. Then we have these Cloud Stepper um, by Clark Sandals. They were purchased the bins for $1.54 and they sold for $23. This was another bins find and I just couldn't leave it behind because it was so adorable. It was a Paw Patrol like second birthday shirt and it was new with tags. I only paid 26 cents because it weighed like nothing and it sold for $12. Um, this was an amazing sale. Full price, this Talbot's jacket, uh, sold for $35, and I paid $0.99 cents for it, so that was exciting. Then we have these child size Hey Dudes. Um, we paid $0.90 cents for them at the bins. They sold for $17. This was another awesome sale. These Salomon Quest um like Gore-Tex boots. Justin got these at the bins. We did pay $5.37 because they weighed so much, but they sold for $70 and they sold super fast. Another pair of sandals. These sold for $20 and we paid $1.45 for them at the bins. 
Um, these Converse, these were like mules. It was the first time I'd ever seen this style. We grabbed these in the $5 bag sale um, that I talked about previously. We got to fill a huge bag at a church and only pay $5 for clothes and shoes. Um, they sold for $28. And when I figured out the cost of goods per item in the bag, we paid like 45 cents, something like that. Then we had a four piece bundle. This was so exciting. It was four L items, two Chico's tops, an Eddie Bauer top and a Talbot's top. Every single one of these items was purchased on 99 cents. So I had $3 and what, 96 cents into it. And it sold for $59. And after, um, you know, all the, the cost of goods and stuff, I made like $43 in some sense on that bundle. So that was awesome. These Simply Vera Wang um, pants, I bought them for myself. I didn't realize they were a 16W. I thought they were a 16 and they were way too big on me. So I was glad just to be able to sell them, you know, and recoup my money. So I paid $1.99 for them at the bins and they sold for $14. I have had this New With Tags Love and More shirt for a long time. I only grabbed it because I got a 99 cent day. It was New With Tags and it had like a patriotic theme. And I think I bought it right before the 4th of July last year. Didn't sell, so um, finally went for $12. So excited to move that along. These ASIC shoes, um, Justin picked these up at the bins. They were really lightweight. They only cost $1.16 and they sold for $28. This Apartment 9 um, plus size capri pants, I only pick up Apartment 9 if it's new with tags. And even though it's a Kohl's like house brand technically, it normally sells quickly for me. So as long as I can get it for super cheap, I'll grab it. These were from 99 cent day. They sold for $17. Um, this was a bins pickup. It's a Lauren Ralph Lauren. It's like a sweater blazer. Like it's structured like a blazer, but it's made out of sweater material. I remember when I looked it up at the bins, um, I was surprised at how much these were selling for. And even though it was a small, I decided to take a chance on it. I paid $2.05 for it, and it sold for $32. So that was a great sale. Um, this Robert Lewis dress, I only grabbed because it was new with tags. I think they this brand sells at TJ Maxx, and I've seen it at the discount store Gabe's too. So not like a high dollar brand. But um, since it was new, it sold for $19 more sandals. So these Birks were in really good condition for Birken, used Birkenstocks. Um, we found them at the bins for $1.53 and they sold for $47. This torrid um, David Bowie it was made to look like an old kind of concert t-shirt. I got it at the bins and I only paid 60 cents for it. It sold for $16. This was a Chico's piece, new with tags. It was more like a basic t-shirt, though it did have more of like a flutter sleeve to it, but I got it because it was new with tags. Um, I found it at the bins, so I only paid 79 cents for it, and it sold for $21. This was a new to me bra band, Notori, I guess is how it said. Um, I found it at the bins, so our cost of goods was only 42 cents, and it sold for $18. This Susan Graver, it was like a liquid knit, um, very stretchy plus size dress. And clearly I forgot to crop the first photo on this. That's hideous looking. But uh, we got it on 99 cent day and it sold for $19. And my last Poshmark sale was this amazing vintage wool cardigan sweater that was a labor of love. It had like some stains on it. When I got it, so I like hand washed it and soaked it, you know, restretched it out, made sure it was all nice, and the stains mainly came out. Well, then I realized it had a couple holes in it, and so I hand fixed those holes. You can see my little stitching there, and I obviously disclosed. Oh yes, I I stitched somewhere around here. Um, that I hand stitched it, but it was just such a cool sweater. I had to save it. We paid $2.41 for it at the bins and it sold for $45 and I'm so glad it's finding a new home. Just like last time, I'm not gonna go over all of the individual weight sales, but I am gonna put this picture up on the screen right now showing you the, I think we only had six weight sales. They've been really slow lately and they were like smaller items, but those are all the 
weights that we sold in that time period too and our total profits for everything that we sold so you know when all was said and done what i put into our bank account after um all the fees the shipping the cost of goods all that stuff was one thousand three hundred forty eight dollars and eighty four cents so not the best not the worst ebay as i've talked about earlier was completely so slow this weekend but poshmark really helped me out and i am grateful for it because there's been numerous times where i'm like i don't know if i'm gonna do poshmark anymore and then it comes in and saves my butt so um now i'm gonna show you a couple cool items that we got recently. all right so i'll tell you where all we got each of these items so we went to a garage sale over the weekend i got two pairs of men's silver jeans i paid two dollars a piece for them I mean, these, this style, I feel like is probably going to go like 25 to 30 ish. Um, I was excited to find this cute Lululemon, um, cropped hooded top at the bins. I got one very similar to this without the hood, um, probably like a month or two ago. And it's sold, I think for like $45. This is a free people. Does it have, I think it has Angora in it. Um, turtleneck you know like cropped sweater this seemed to have a decent sales price like 35 ish maybe something like that justin found this winner if you watch my insta if you're following me on instagram i guess is what i'm trying to say i talked about this in my stories he found this lululemon hoodie new with tags 118 dollars like a brown tie-dyed and because i didn't want to be left out in the finding gold i was so excited this was all over instagram too i found my first johnny was piece i always hear people talk about johnny was and i can never find it and i found it of all places the bins in a bin that had already been out for like two hours so super exciting i mean i feel like it'll this piece will probably only go for like 40 ish but um yeah, just it because it's a small size. It's only a small but cute embroidered jacket. And I was just excited to get that um, off my bucket list. Um, this was an interesting, it's a Nike, but it's like their pro line. So yeah, it like, it's not like a normal hoodie. It has kind of like this stretchy like band inside. I don't know, but when I looked it up by the code, because if you don't know, all Nike products, including shoes, have this code inside of it. It's, um, what is it, six digits with a dash and three digits. You can look it up like that. And yeah, this sells for like at least $35. Um, this I love. It's a J. Crew hand knit, like fisherman sweater. This thing is wool, I guess I should add also. Such heavy weightness i mean obviously not the best time of year for it but i was not gonna leave that thrown in the bins um i grabbed this vintage ll bean like embroidered crew neck sweatshirt it was an xl and i just thought it was nice with the embroidery on it you know because most things these days just have screen printing on it um this is just a american eagle cardigan sweater but it was new with tags 49.95 was its original price we got a couple just like basic vineyard vines pieces um this was a pure jill um like three or half zip i guess but it was in a 2x always excited to find the j jill line especially pure jill in a plus size um this was just like an izod um saltwater brand brand new with tags button up so we grab that and then i guess the last two pieces i'll show you i love quacker factory you've heard me talk about it, especially in plus size and justin found these two bedazzled beauties um at a garage sale and he paid one dollar each for them so if i didn't scare you away in the opening and you stuck around this whole video i appreciate you so much so um yeah that pretty much wraps up our sales some cool items that we found um i'm gonna edit this video get some stuff hopefully photographed try to keep my energy level up because i know the next few days 
it will plummet more and more and then I will probably have a zero listing day. I know what I have to tell you guys. We are picking up all the leftovers from our church sale this weekend. Super exciting. So if you've been here for a while, we've done this before with the same church sale twice, but this is a new one to us. We've never taken the leftovers from it before. I honestly have no idea. It could all be junk. There could be treasures. I don't know. I don't know how much stuff there's actually going to be, but it'll be an adventure and I'm sure you'll get to see all about it in the next video. All right. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.